Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Marissa Explains It All. A few minutes ago, my son turned two and I threw him the cutest puppy party and I wanted to share that with you guys. I know if you're like me, you're always looking for some inspiration for birthday party themes and ideas for what to do. So I figured I would show you what we happen to do, something really simple and easy. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and I'll be right back. So I am a cat lover, but my son, despite my best efforts, has loved dogs. He just, his whole life, he has loved dogs for some reason. So he, I had to throw him this adorable puppy party. So um, I ended up going the easy route and doing this at a trampoline park. Um, now, it was a little bit stressful because they only allow like 15 minutes for setup. So I was very much scrambling trying to set this up. But the kids kind of started jumping while I was setting the party up and parents helped out and it was really sweet. But um, it's a great idea for kids who are little and have lots of energy and just want to jump and bounce and get the energy out so the location uh, was a good idea I think for toddlers now let me show you what some of the things that I did for uh, each of the elements I'll show you things that we did for food ideas for decorations and for like a little photo uh, backdrop opportunity so let's get into it for invitations I bought this template from Etsy for $9.98 and I printed them out on cardstock and handed them out for favor boxes, I went ahead and bought these gable boxes, 12 for $17 from Amazon. They'll look this when they're assembled. On the front, I put a sticker. I got these from Zazzle for about $6.17 with a coupon for six of them. They're three inches and glossy, really good quality. A little bit pricey for a sticker, but they turned out really well. So I assembled those, put in some tissue paper, and then started to put my items in. I did these uh, puppy books, little coloring books. They're 15 for $12. And I also put in these really adorable bubbles from Etsy. They're 10 for $17.50. Super cute. I absolutely loved them. Put in some puppy stickers. You get um, 10 sheets for $9 and they have girl ones and just kind of uh, gender neutral dogs in there. Throw in some fruit snacks because what kid doesn't love a little sugar? And then for these puppies, I got uh, eight for $26 for the Adopt-A-Puppy. Each kid got one of those. And then uh, some custom crayons that I made and check out my link to the top right for how I did those. And then kind of just packaged them all up and made little name tags with my Silhouette Cameo for each child. And I backed those with some darker blue cardstock so you could actually see the name. And then um, put some twine on them and attached it to the box so that everybody knew who's was whose and this is what they look like on the shelf turned out super cute I also made favor boxes for all of the moms because we need treats too. So I put in each one a little mini airplane bottle of vodka and some cranberry juice and some candy and a Starbucks gift card. So that went over pretty well. For decorations, we did a balloon garland. This is a $27 kit from Amazon that had all the right colors in it. And I actually bought a little uh, pack of the paw print balloons as well to add in to tie it into my theme. And then underneath I had a puppy banner. This was a print your own from Etsy for $7.10. Just printed on cardstock and strung it up underneath it. Next up was the adopt a puppy event. So I bought this little printable for $6.08. And then I just uh, bought the plush animals, of course, and the fairy fence was $8. And the tassel garland was $9. And so all I did here was just take some Dollar Tree foam core board, put some green construction paper on the bottom and hot glue my fence in place. Next up, I made this interactive photo prop with some moving boxes. I just used two boxes and followed a tutorial linked below. Um, I spent about $8.67 on the mat in front and um, just spray painted the box white and put his name in vinyl so that each kid could take a photo inside the doghouse. And I forgot my AstroTurf at home, but that would have been a perfect addition to have a little patch of grass underneath. Next up were these walking dog balloons from Amazon. I got these, they were $15 for 14 balloons and all of the moms came back and said this was such a hit that their kids loved these. You inflate them with helium, but they don't float. They just bounce and bob along and the child can walk them and they absolutely loved them. So definitely recommend this one. I just filled it up at my local grocery store with helium and they turned out really well. Above that was a banner that I didn't really like the placement of, but we didn't have another choice. I got this from Zazzle for $46.41 and it was really cute, good quality of vinyl. For food, we had a hot dog bar. So I served hot dogs from my crock pot to keep them warm. And then all around, we had jars to hold all of the condiments like sauerkraut and cheese and jalapenos and onions. And we did chili and um, of course, ketchup mustard. And that was a really easy self-serve idea. And then on the left, we had little bagel bites and they were our pepperoni pizza. For the tables, we had blue tablecloths on. They were $23 a piece. And then a paw print runner for $8.50 a piece and just some confetti um, that I cut with my Silhouette Cameo. This is showing you roughage cups of veggies that were individual. 
And for the cheese and crackers, we did bag and strips, and I just uh, cut out some cheese and ham with my um, cookie cutter and served these in plastic bone trays from Oriental Trading. They were 12 for $15, and they were perfect to hold all of the food, but they are quite flimsy, so just be aware of that. They are very, very thin plastic, and they don't, they don't stay very well. Each dish had little cardstock food cards, and those were $4.27 from Etsy. It was a little template that you were able to print and um, label your own things, so that's what you're seeing here. And this was just fruit kibble, so a little fruit salad. We did Twizzlers for some chew sticks, and then we did some puppy chow, which was just some peanut butter, chocolate, um, with some Chex Mix. And then some puppy tails were Cheetos. And here is his cake. I just did a really simple buttercream cake with a number two candle on it. And then the cupcakes were adorable. They were served on this red fire hydrant cupcake stand from Amazon for $12.60 and just used um, some simple buttercream to make these look like puppies. And then I also made sugar cookies. So here's a little close up of how these turned out. Really, really adorable. And last but not least for desserts, we made these little pudding cups with some felt and just hot glued those on with some wiggly eyes and some um, marker for the mouth. And they turned out really cute as well. For the tableware, we ordered plates that were 12 for 12, so a dollar a piece for the dinner plates. And then for the dessert plates, they were 12 for 750 from the brand Mary Mary. And they turned out really adorable with them fit just perfectly with the puppy theme. And these were the napkins I ordered from Zazzle. They are 50 for $38 and they fit the theme just perfectly. Also from Zazzle, I ordered him a custom t-shirt that was $13.39 and for myself, a $20 t-shirt from Amazon with a dog on it. And here he is, the birthday boy, enjoying his party. Say hi. 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 We're at your birthday party? Yeah. Are you two? Are you two years old? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Can you say hi? Yeah. Do you love your party? You having fun? Do you like to jump on the trampoline? Yeah. It's fun. So that is everything. As you can see, he loved it. He had a great time bouncing with all his friends, got all that energy out and had tons of fun. Um, none of that food was particularly healthy, of course, but you know, we don't eat like that all the time. So it's just kind of a special occasion treat for a birthday. Hope that was interesting to you. Let me know if you have questions um, in you know, the comments below. Um, I did link everything in the description box so that you could also purchase some things if you saw something that you liked. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member, I'd love to have you. And I'll see you next time for the next party. Bye guys.